yes, the title is right. Illuminati, also known as Blair, has taken it to the most extreme possible outcome that I think she could have in this situation. If you don't know who Blair is or Illuminati, very quick refresher because there's lots of videos online already. Blair was a anti-MLM, anti-bad anti business, anti-anything bad video creator. She had kind of gained notoriety as the conscience of the internet, which is why it was such a big surprise when the metaphorical shit hit the fan and she was outed as not only a in my opinion complete and utter narcissist but also a bully a bad friend a bad businesswoman and everything that she stood stood for she basically was outed for being now just to quickly recap she did have a friend who we're going to be talking about today called Oz Media she also had a friend and colleague who she outed for their mental health problems and actually read out loud on her channel and talked and discussed about this person wanting to end things and also about their very personal mental health state. It came out that she was basically had this guy trapped. She was his work his friend, the person who was letting him live in her house. She provided him with a car. And then when things didn't go her way and she got upset, she basically pulled that from him, everything that she could. Even she had her fingers dipped in the therapist that he was seeing. It was her therapist that she got a cob on. So this is the type of person we're talking about. But like I said, there are plenty of videos online for you to look at. However, things have just got worse. As I mentioned, Oz Media, who, as far as we can tell, was Blair's best friend, the person she seemed to care about the most. Well, he did come out eventually and defend the people who had been harmed or were being trashed by Blair. She mentioned him in her very long, very bullshit apology video, and it was the only time that she appeared to show any emotion. I personally, in my own opinion, believe it was this was done deliberately because as we're going to see, it is very clear that Oz was being emotionally, from what we know, at least emotionally abused by Blair, who is a narcissist and had her fingers around everything that he was doing, basically using them as a puppet, using them as a puppet and relying heavily on the defence of Oz while also manipulating Oz into what she wanted Oz to do, to say, how to act, how to support her. Now recently, on August 23rd, on Twitter or X or wherever you want to call it today, the following tweet was done by Oz Media. I am still working on my video, however Blair is taking legal action against me to take my home. I need help with the legal costs and I will be providing a full and detailed explanation on how I'm even in this position within my video, putting the link below to avoid throttling. Now, the link was there and I believe it raised about four and a half thousand dollars. However, somebody reported it to take it down. Now, I'm not accusing anybody. My guess would be it was Blair and her if she has any strange followers that she has left. However, obviously we couldn't prove that and that is just my own opinion. But Oz did comment underneath saying, good news is that it does seem like the funding collected from the GoFundMe of around 4.1K is collectible despite it being taken down. If this changes, I will update. Thank you all for the support that you've given me so far. And Oz had made a comment underneath the original post saying somebody had taken down his GoFundMe page or reported it. He an email stating, Hi, we're writing to tell you that your fundraiser has been suspended and won't be visible on GoFundMe until some edits are made. It is against terms to include any personal identifiable information, inflammatory or accusatory language in your fundraising title, description, image or update. Please remove any PII information inflammatory language or specific accusations from your fundraiser. Again, we've heard very similar accusations 
of accusations and inflammatory language from Blair herself. Again, I don't know, but I'm just saying it's kind of a coincidence. Now, what this tells us and what this shows us is, like many people have stated and assumed from what everything that's come out, that Blair is not only a person that's made mistakes, she is a very cruel, very vindictive person who is using what she what resemblance of power she feels that she still has to destroy anybody who speaks about her and I don't know how she thinks that this is going to help she's unraveled the worst that I think I've ever seen anyone unravel she must know she must know that by going after these people it is only going to make it look worse and to try and take away somebody's house their home now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you the clips that Oz Media was in with Wonder, Wonder being the person that Blair was allegedly legally financially abusive to and who she heard and who'd come out and made his own video but I am going to show those clips now. It's the only clip so far that Oz Media has done online, the only information that he has said. So this is the information that Blair will be conducting here lawsuit on for derogatory defamatory information whatever she is suing him for so i'm going to play this first and we can talk about whether or not we believe that she has a leg to stand on so that i did not assist with a mess located in the lower level of your home as well as a staircase leading to said lower level of the home what was your experience with the situation as the owner of this home like no shade to you and like you know of course but like like no one like recounts the situation properly because you weren't sleeping i'm surprised that you even made that mention you were actually like very well awake and already cleaning the mess up when we had actually got upstairs um what had happened was woke up that morning came out from the basement and there was like you know a trail of dog mess is the best way to put it kind of like just leading all over the downstairs it went up and down the stairs and you know Blair and I of course we weren't happy to see that initially but when we had gone upstairs you were already cleaning up the mess Blair had to leave the house and that left you and I with cleaning it because you and I we were actively cleaning it up we were both taking turns using the pet vacuum I was covering the downstairs and you were covering the upstairs it's not like you just slept through it either um you were actively cleaning my proof that once more I never set foot in that room nor did I have malicious intent when I lived there Blair embarrassed Oz not me and the video Video, I touch on an image I shared to Twitter involving the living conditions of your home while Blair was an active tenant. She claims these conditions were due to her being in the process of a move and that I took these images with intent to embarrass the both of you. Would you be, in your own words, willing to shed light on these claims? Uh, this is tricky to talk about just because like that was like the condition of living with Blair. Like that that's always how it has been. No matter how many times cleaning was attempted, it always ended up becoming that level of mess. There, there was no cleaning in that house. It was always a disaster. No matter how many times attempts were made, it would take less than a week or two for things to re -mess I, I even remember on my 22nd birthday, I had asked like, hey, can we please get like the kitchen and living room cleaned up so we actually have like a space to exist. And that was like my birthday present for that year was cleaning the kitchen and the living room. Just because the house was, it was always a mess. Yeah, some of it was mine as well. But the thing was, was there was never a home for it. Right now the house is actually, I can, the house is pretty clean right now. I can show pictures of that. But it, it was, there, there was no clean. It was always like that. It wasn't just one room. It was every room. And I remember when I was messaging you, there was just that, a level of frustration because it felt like no matter how often I would actually clean and do stuff, Stuff. It just always like like remessified. There there was no cleaning. It just felt useless, and she would never help with cleaning. It, it was always me. I was always the one breaking down all eight hundred of her Amazon boxes. I was always the one doing anything cleaning wise. It just felt like I was there to clean up her mess. I'd also like to note and, that you didn't ask me to post those photos, and I, on my own accord, took to Twitter. So you can confirm that I never once was in there or took that photo. Well, I guess you can't confirm <laughs> that I wasn't in that room, but can you confirm that even, I was not the person who took this photo? For starters, the mess that that I took the photo of wasn't even the same mess that existed in that room when you live there. It was a very different mess. Just with everything that happened, the, the mess, it did get cleaned up, then it re-got that it remessified. So like that wasn't even the same mess. It was me who took that photo because I, I was trying to both for my sanity catalog what the house looked like before I started cleaning, as well as just for, for my sake, just like have proof that this was the, like the, the, the case. It appears to be a heartfelt cry regarding your friendship. This section is roughly three minutes. She goes into detail about you, Casper, better times, and involves hobbies, etc. Would you like to share your thoughts on what you felt or thought when you first saw this. <laughs> There's not 
really a, like a nice way that I can actually say this. I've like watched her build those tiers up on multiple occasions, whether it's she forgot she had a prior engagement. So she built up tiers and said, I have to take cast for the vet and I'm very scared. So I won't be able to make it or for talking to other um, like content creators that she's had issues with of building up those tiers for like apologies for talking with employees for talking with uh, me or her roommates. It's something that I have watched her do on numerous occasions. If they were genuine, I mean, there's that, but I have a really hard time believing it with how many times I've actually seen her build those tears up and considering when I did post my thread on Twitter and I did make the comments that I made the tone that she had like in, in messages was night and day what, what I'm trying to say is that, that the, the the tone that she had in the end of her video was not the tone that she had with me behind the scenes the tone that she had with me behind the scenes was very much accusing a few vague threats were thrown in there which I don't want to go into details on because I, I just for me personally with how I see all of this I don't want to make a response video this might hopefully be where my response is is within the cause confines of your response just because I would like to keep this. I don't want to drag out Blair and I's personal life is the best way of putting it. I, I would rather try to keep that as like private as I possibly can because there's a lot of things I don't think any of- Now as you can see from those clips, all Oz Media has done is confirm or deny the information that Wonder said himself. All Oz Media is doing is confirming or denying the information based on his own experience. He was not slandering her name it's a lot less than a lot of other people have done and my opinion on why Blair is going at Oz so hard and trying to take Oz's home away is because she knows that Oz has everything that will completely put the nail in the coffin of her and her attitudes her actions her abuse because it is very clear from tweets that Oz has done in the past about how he was used and manipulated and how Oz clearly felt like he owed everything to Blair and that Oz didn't really, wasn't able to be friends with people, wasn't able to have thoughts and, and actions without being punished by Blair, whether that was financially, mentally, emotionally. So I truly believe that the reason that she is panicking is because Oz has said that he is coming out with a video. Blair knows the damning evidence and the effect and impact that this video will have and she is just trying to scare him before he is able to do that. Hopefully there is some kind of law to prevent people in where they're in this in where the situation is happening from just putting lawsuits in because i think it's called the slap law or slap rule in certain states in america where the person who's put a false claim effectively against someone has to pay their legal fees i'm pretty sure that's how it works but in my opinion it truly is just because Blair is a narcissist. She has lost control. And when narcissists lose control, just the same as abusive partners, they explode. All ability to think logically out the window. They are trying to fight to keep their control. And when they've lost it, they don't know what to do. And I think that's why we've often seen or didn't say but now know the outburst of making fake accounts to slander her colleagues and friends names getting other people to threaten their friends and colleagues names going after people who she deemed as a threat the way we've seen with certain youtubers and also losing control of oz media i think is the is the final straw I don't think she can cope. This is truly why I believe that she cried when she spoke about Oz in that apology video. She slandered everybody else, but she spoke directly to Oz. She said, I am speaking directly to you. And she cried and she talked about wanting to save their friendship, hoping that they could rectify things. She wasn't crying for Oz. She was crying because she knew that once she lost that control, once she fully lost him to the truth and to true friends, she would never get that back and things would start to come out. And the tears were either real tears for herself or they were tears that she put on because as Oz so kindly let us know, she is able to cry at the drop of a hat. I truly think this is the biggest downfall 
in terms of all the YouTubers have had massive downfalls, but we kind of already knew about their personality, but because it was so few people and people were so scared of her and she built this massive empire, nobody inside the circle knew what she was truly like. And when you compare the content she was making and the opinions held against her in the community and in the public compared to the ones that knew her close, I have never seen such a turn in a content creator before. If you've got a different opinion, please let me know. I will keep you updated on the situation. Obviously, if Oz brings a video out, then I will go through it. I will discuss it with you guys. If there is an update on his GoFundMe, I will put the link back in the description. But at the minute, it is gone. You can't donate to it. It's not even existing. If you've got any other video ideas, please do let me know. Share your opinions down below. I also do mental health and taboo topics, so I would love for you to subscribe, like the video, and that is everything for now. So I hope that wherever that you are, you have a lovely morning, day or night, and I will see you again next time. Bye!